For any form of coordinate geometry proof, there are three formulas you have to be familiar with. Distance formula, midpoint formula, and slope formula. Let's see how we use these. If I want to prove lines congruent, I'm going to need my distance formula. I'm going to first calculate the distance of line segment AB. In order to do that, I need to be aware of what the change in X is and what the change in Y is. Looking at my points A and B, to move from point A to point B in the Y direction, I would have to travel up two units. In the X direction, I would have to travel up three units. Once I figure that out, I can plug those values into my distance formula. Change in X squared, three. Change in Y, two. Put that all together get my distance AB is equal to the square root of 9 plus 4, so that AB is equal to the square root of 13. I'm going to save this, erase my scrap, and repeat the same process for distance CD. For distance CD, in my x and y direction, I've traveled down three units in Y and up two units in X. So for CD, I plug this information into the distance formula. I get 2 squared plus negative 3 squared. So CD is the square root of 4 plus 9. Remember, negative numbers squared. Two negatives make a positive. So that my distance is 13. Notice that my distance for AB and my distance for CD are the same. If distances are equal, that means that line segments are congruent. So I will make a conclusion that since AB is equal to CD, then AB segment is congruent to segment CD. Since their measures are the same, the two segments are congruent. Let's see how we would use the midpoint formula. If I want to prove that objects bisect each other, two objects which bisect each other means cuts it into congruent parts. That would mean that one line would have to pass through the midpoint of the other. If both objects are being bisected, that means that the midpoint of each line is the same. So my goal in proving that objects bisect each other is to show that the midpoints are equal. To do that, I will have to use midpoint formula. Let's do first midpoint of segment AC. That will occur at the average of those two x values, so negative 4 plus negative 2 over 2, and the average of those two y values. 3 plus 1 over 2. Put that all together, you'll get the midpoint of AC is equal to negative 6 over 2, 4 over 2, which simplifies to negative 3, 2. There's my midpoint for AC. Now I'm going to repeat this process for the midpoint of BD. When I do that, I again will use midpoint formula. So I have my x direction, 1 plus negative 7 over 2. My y values, 3, 1, 3 plus 1 over 2. Put that together, end up with negative 6 over 2, 4 over 2, which again reduces to negative 3 and 2. Since the midpoints of these two values are the same, they must bisect each other. That is my conclusion that I will then make. Since the midpoint of AC and BT are the same, The two segments 
bisect each other. If two midpoints are equivalent, the two segments bisect each other. How do we prove lines are parallel and perpendicular? Well, what determines the direction of a line is its slope. So I will be using slope formula. First, I'll find the slope of segment AB. To do that, I will need the change in Y and the change in X. Looking at point A, I go from 2 down to 0, so I've gone down negative 2. In the X direction, I've gone from negative 2 to 1, which is up 3. My slope for AB is then change in Y, negative 2, over change in X, positive 3. I'm going to repeat the same process for the slope of CD. In the Y direction, I've gone from negative 1 to 2. That's up 3 units. And in the X direction, I've gone from negative 1 to 1. That is up 2 units. So my slope for line CD is 3, change in Y, over 2, change in X. I'm going to make the observation that these two slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. And since slopes are negative, abbreviated NEG, reciprocals, abbreviated RECP, of each other, line segment AB must be perpendicular to line segment C. If I was showing that lines were parallel, I would need to show that these slopes were equivalent or had the same value. 